In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Snappy Ubuntu Core from Windows for your Raspberry Pi. So first thing you want to do is get to this website and click on Windows Instructions. Here you can follow this link to download the image. As you can see, I've already downloaded it, so I'll just click Cancel. After that's downloaded, you can extract it using a program like 7-Zip by right-clicking and extracting here you'll get the image file after that's done you want to format your SD card into FAT32 if you've already used Linux on the SD card I'd recommend using SD formatter because if you enable format size adjustment it will format the entire card as FAT32 as you can see I only have 60 megabytes right now and after formatting I'll have my full 14.4 gigabytes. Next thing you want to do is use a program like Win32 Disk Imager here. In my case I'll be using Rufus because it also allows me to install ISO images. First thing you want to do is change to DD image and locate the .img file you extracted previously. Click on open. Make sure the right device is selected and click on start. After it's finished writing the image you can eject the SD card and plug it into your Raspberry Pi along with keyboard, ethernet, and display connections. Start your Raspberry Pi and after it's finished booting up, you can log in by typing Ubuntu for the username and password. Typing Snappy Info shows you this is Ubuntu running on ARM. Snappy List V shows you the minimal amount of packages you start out with. Instead of app get, we use Snappy to install new packages. For example, I'll install Hello World. We can update our system with sudo snappy update ubuntu dash core. Snappy list shows us that we have installed hello world. Type sudo reboot to restart and finish updating ubuntu core. After logging in you can use snappy list and check that your ubuntu core version is newer. When you're done type sudo shutdown dash h dash p now to safely shut down before unplugging your Raspberry Pi. 